Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. First off, my background has changed. That is because I'm actually moving down the stairs in my house with my brothers. Today's video is going to be a how to start a YouTube channel. This is basically how to like kickstart your YouTube channel and just like get things started, get things going. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do, don't forget to give a big thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys liked it as well. Without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So my very first tip, this is like the most important thing of it all, is to be passionate. You cannot start a YouTube channel just because you want to become famous. Every single person says this, but honestly, I have been doing YouTube for three years and I don't even have 300 subscribers yet. It is kind of sad because I do work so hard on my videos, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop because I haven't seen a growth. Channels just grow at different rates. Unless you are very passionate about it, it will not fulfill your dreams of becoming famous. You just have to keep working hard. Another thing about this is that you should not go out and buy a big camera and all this stuff before you know that you actually love doing it. I did not get this camera until I had my YouTube channel for about two and a half years. Save yourself some money. Do not buy expensive equipment until you are sure that you absolutely love doing YouTube videos. So another tip for knowing that you're passionate is to start making a schedule and sticking to it. My schedule is uploading twice a week on Wednesdays and Sundays. I think I stuck to it for like a full like four months. This will just be like your own test to see how passionate you are about making videos. You can start with once a week. If you're just uploading videos like once a month, like that's not putting a lot of effort into it. Make sure that you're doing what you love when you're making your YouTube videos. I personally have been making videos since I was like 10 years old. Before I even knew that YouTuber was a thing, I would make videos with like a small little camera recorder. My next tip is for actually making your channel. The most important thing is to have an easy name. Do not have a name that's like all these different letters, all these different like underscores. Just have a simple name, whether it be your first name and your last name or like a play on words or anything like that. Just make it very easy and very searchable. Also, do not copy other people. You don't have to be like super creative with it. You can literally just do like your first and last name. Just keep it original and keep it easy and searchable. So the next thing for creating a channel is having a good profile picture. This is something that is very important if you want to kind of get out there. If you have like some blurry like weird picture, most likely you're not gonna wanna click on it. But if you have like a pretty decent picture of yourself, whether it be like a selfie or anything, just think of it as the same for like an Instagram profile picture. The next thing is your channel banner. You should probably have one of these. They're honestly really, really easy to create. There's a ton of different tutorials about them on YouTube. And get creative and make sure that you can read like your name and like when you upload videos, have like a picture of you. Like there are so many different things you can do with your channel banner. The last tip for actually like, creating your channel is to have a good description. If you go into your channel and go to like the settings or whatever, you can have a description basically about what type of videos you make. This is really important because it shows people what they want to expect off your channel when they click subscribe. My next tip is actually making the video. First thing is to do what is trending. Now, if you're just starting out, you can do the basic trending videos because that is just when you get your name out there. If you're doing videos that no one is searching for, like no one is going to find your channel. Of course, put your own like creative spin on it. Whatever you would search for, do that. Don't do something completely out of your comfort zone. Like I would never make a slime video. I'm not even gonna slime. Just because it's trending, it doesn't mean that I'm going to do it. There are so many different types of trending videos. My next tip is to know when to upload videos. My most popular videos was my Christmas wish list. I uploaded this right after Christmas. It got 5,000 views, which was crazy. I uploaded like a holiday gift guide and I literally uploaded this on Christmas Eve. I was, I needed something to upload. I, and that video literally got one view and I'm pretty sure I watched it twice. Just know when to upload videos, like do things that are in season, do like back to school stuff when it is back to school. Keep up with the seasons because that seriously makes such a big difference. Pretty self-explanatory, but it makes a huge difference. I have a video on like how I actually film my videos, so if you guys want a more like in-depth, um, I'll have that linked down below. My next tip is editing. So the first thing is making sure to cut out all of the pauses, all of the ums. I mean, this is just 
super basic, but it is very important. It just looks like unprofessional when you keep pausing. My next tip is to be simplistic with your editing. Do not put a ton of filters. People don't want to watch a video that is like so distracting because there's so many different stuff going on editing wise. They just want to see you. Like simplicity is so much better and it is a lot easier. My next tip is to color correct. This video is not color corrected. This video is, or it's what you've been watching this whole time. It makes a very subtle difference, but it still is super important. It's like adding some color to your videos or doing whatever you want, basically. Also make sure that your thumbnails are clickable. If you guys want your YouTube channel to actually be like successful, do not do clickbait. You are going to get views, but you will not get loyal subscribers. It just depends on how you want your YouTube channel to go. I personally would never do clickbait. I say that, but who knows, maybe it will. Also, very, very important is if you guys are using green screens, which I definitely recommend. I use green screens for every single video. It's very easy and makes your editing style so much better. You would have to make sure to give credit to those people. There are some really talented people out there. Another thing is music. I don't even know the rules about copyright and non-copyright free music. Try and use copyright free. Like when I search for music, I just search copyright free and then I'll download the song and they'll use it in my video keep your music like quiet especially when you're talking you want the music to like be in the background but you don't want it to like overpower what you're saying the next thing is about equipment and equipment is very important for youtube when you know that you are really passionate about it the number one thing i would recommend buying is a camera obviously you guys could start your youtube channel on your phone like the phone has very good quality i got my camera i just felt so much more motivated to film videos because the quality is just so amazing and if you are going to need a camera then you can just get a tripod it's like a basic tripod i even have a little small one that comes in handy too it just makes your videos look so much more professional and it shows you are very dedicated about youtube and it makes them more entertaining to watch another thing is lighting i do have some studio lights i rarely ever use them though i haven't really found out how the lighting is going to work in this room but in my other room i just use natural lighting that is the best if you don't need the studio lights just use natural lighting last thing is for sound a microphone i would definitely recommend getting a microphone i have one that i got for christmas it's the rode microphone it works amazing people used to complain all the time about how my videos were so quiet and how i need a microphone it just helps so much so if you can definitely look at that too my last tip goes for like collabs or just kind of getting your channel out there a huge huge way to do this is Turning on post notifications for bigger YouTubers and then commenting on their videos. Bigger YouTubers might reply to your comments and then other people will see them and they'll want to click on your channel. Don't comment things like sub for sub, but just have like genuine comments like a lot of the video. Don't comment something like begging for people to subscribe to you. That doesn't look good. Also, just doing different collabs. I just do it with people who have relatively around the same number of subscribers as me. You can just comment on the person's video and see if they want to collab. That is just a huge way to to gain more subscribers but make sure you're doing it with people who have around the same number of subscribers as you everyone says this but just make sure to be yourself no matter what obviously your personality will just change on camera as you get more comfortable with it don't try to copy other youtubers that is going to get you absolutely nowhere people can tell when you are doing so it takes some time but once you do it it becomes so natural that was the end of my video i really hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully it helped you guys if you guys did enjoy that video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys on wednesday with a new video so bye